A private key is a random number that looks like this. And a seed phrase is an ordered sequence of words that looks like this. And so what's the difference? Well, a private key is like the PIN number to your bank account. You never share your PIN with anyone, and when you enter it into the ATM, you can access your money. Similarly, your private key proves that you own Bitcoin and allows you to spend that Bitcoin. As its name suggests, a private key is something that you keep private. Now, it would be crazy if you had to use a number like this whenever you wanted to access and spend your Bitcoin, right? So to make private keys easier to use, a bunch of smart Bitcoin developers got together and created what's known as a seed phrase. A seed phrase is written in plain English and is a user-friendly representation of a private key. It's an ordered sequence of usually 12 or 24 words, and the chances of you sharing the same seed phrase as someone else are pretty much nil. Now, you might have also heard terms like mnemonic code words, backup seed, recovery phrase, or BIP39 seed phrase, and they're all pretty much interchangeable. Now, what's also worth noting is that there are these things called seed extensions. A seed extension extends your seed phrase by an extra word, and it's special because if you lose it, you lose your Bitcoin. Because of its additional trade-offs, your wallet will probably mark seed extensions as optional when you first create your seed phrase. Of course, seed extensions should not be confused with wallet passwords. A wallet password is what you type into something like your Ledger Live when you first open it. And if you're using a mobile wallet, your password will probably be Face ID or some kind of PIN. But the main takeaway is that seed extensions are different from these passwords. So how are seed phrases and private keys used within wallets? Well, your wallet applies cryptography to your seed phrase in order to derive your private key. Once your wallet extracts your private key from your seed phrase, it can then access and spend your Bitcoin. Now, because your seed phrase practically acts as your private key, you need to keep your seed phrase private as well. Most wallets prompt users to back up their seed phrase when first setting up their wallet. And instead of backing up your private keys, seed phrases are preferred because of their easier human readable format. So when backing up your seed phrase, make sure to do so in a safe and secure location because it needs to stay private. Now let's say that you lose your wallet. Do you lose access to your Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin aren't actually stored in your hardware or your software. Instead, it's the blockchain that keeps track of your UTXOs. To access your Bitcoin, you just need to provide proof that you own those Bitcoin. So instead of rummaging through a landfill to find the Bitcoin that you stored on some device, all you need to do is import the seed phrase that you backed up into a new wallet. Once you enter in that sequence of words, your new wallet will recover the same data about your Bitcoin UTXOs, addresses, history, etc. Now what's cool about seed phrases is that they're platform independent. For example, you can import your blue wallet seed phrase into your samurai wallet, or your ledger seed phrase into your Trezor, etc. In fact, people commonly transfer Bitcoin from one wallet to another using a seed phrase because there's no transaction and so you don't need to pay for transaction fees or wait for mining confirmations. All you need is your seed phrase and you can access your Bitcoin from any wallet as long as it adheres to something called BIP 39. Bitcoin Improvement Proposal 39 specifies to wallet vendors how seed phrases should be implemented, generated, and handled. Most modern wallets adhere to BIP39, and you can find a full list of compatible wallets in the description below. In the description, you'll also find a list of 2048 words defined in BIP39. All seed phrases can only use words. So you might find that word list handy if, for example, you only have 11 out of 12 words backed up. To find that last word, all you'd need to do is just run through every single word in that word list and you'll eventually recover your wallet. To summarize, a private key is a random number that proves you own Bitcoin and allows you to spend that Bitcoin. A seed phrase is an ordered sequence of words that represent a random number, in this case, your private key. Both private keys and seed phrases should be kept private. Think of both as your Bitcoin. If you lose your seed or private key, you lose your Bitcoin. If you give others your seed or private key, you'll probably lose your Bitcoin too. You typically only interact with seed phrases when backing them up or recovering a wallet. Some might even offer a seed extension option, which is an additional word to your seed phrase and should not be confused with wallet passwords. Finally, BIP39 is the industry standard and specifies how to implement seed phrases and is used by most wallets today. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to like the video, share it with someone, and subscribe to the channel. I also want to hear what you guys want to learn more about, so let me know in the comments down below.